always excited for Saturday night because, you know, it was jumping on a call just like this that was really a game changer for my husband and I. I'm Laurie Weeks. This is my beautiful, wonderful husband, love of my life, Everton Weeks. <laughs> and you know what, guys? Having an opportunity to surround us as a couple with this healthy living community that helped us make daily changes. We started eating better, reducing processed food, eliminating sugar, you know, being around people who really take their health seriously made all the difference for us. And that's when we find out about the Tower Garden. What did yeah, you and add? I was just going to say, I was not a guy who loved to eat vegetables at all. But I tell you, when you grow it on the Tower Garden, uh, you've never really tasted veggies until you got them from the Tower Garden. There. Uh, the aroma, the taste, it's just amazing. But we made this switch and, uh, man, we're just loving it. I mean, it is our life. Our friends come over and see what we're doing. They leave. We're making money just by sharing good news and helping people get healthy. Because they come by, they see it, and they're sold on what we're doing. So, Lori, why don't we just show them what we're doing here? All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how much food we are growing on just a little bit of space. We have a wonderful opportunity to grow year-round because we found some things that can grow through cooler temperatures right here in Georgia, like right. cauliflower, broccoli. Did you know, like, kale. kale and greens and collards love cooler weather? All year but long. so. As we said, let me turn the camera around. We're going to show you what we have going on right now. All right. There we go. So right here, and we're growing all of our food on a patio. So here we have our squash and zucchini and spaghetti squash are growing. I really love an opportunity to take a tower garden and grow it to its max. So you see that we're trailing this vine over the edge of this, and we're gonna see what happens here. Here we have some beautiful peppers and parsley and rosemary and strawberries and thyme. Celery at the top here, Lord. And celery. So a lot of things that we're using this tower for, we're really um, taking it off and using it for juicing. So we really love that. Here we have an opportunity just to grow something that just really brings us so much joy. I just love having so many flowers on the patio all year long. And what's super cool is that Everton has this great habit of uh, cutting flowers, putting them in a vase, and they are just all throughout the house. So we've had an opportunity to bring outdoors inside. Also on this tower, I love to share that I have rosemary, chamomile, echinacea, lemon balm, and those are some wonderful um, herbs. You know, this is called my healing tower also. Yeah, and it's important to recognize, Lori, that every one of those flowers is edible and they go into our salads. Guys, this is my tower, okay? This is the one that <laughs> I love. You talk about some fresh green onions. Look at those onions. Every day we're cutting those babies down, putting them in our salad seven days a week making fresh salad. And look here at the tomatoes. Come on back here, Lori. Show them some of these tomatoes that we got growing here. Look at those tomatoes. Look at those awesome tomatoes growing right there in our garden, on our tower garden. Again, in our salad, we've got different types of tomatoes here. You can see these are, these are a little bit green, but they're coming in. Beautiful potatoes just growing around. Uh, tomatoes, I'm sorry. And then over here, Lori. Um, I think what we have are like three different types of tomatoes right on this one tower because here's another type and this is tomatoes and onions everton right yeah well you know it's kind of interesting that uh the thing that we did was this year or last year when we had such an incredible time with the pandemic <laughs> we did not have any kind of a problem with our food nothing in our home was recalled none of the veggies none of the fruits and veggies and we didn't have any problem not going to the grocery stores because we had it all right here on our desk. We started with one tower garden. And honestly, I just did it to support my wife. But I tell you what, five weeks, I fell in love with that tower garden. We now have five tower gardens in our back. We don't buy any fruits or veggies from the store. Everything's organic. Nothing's ever, ever been recalled. And so the last towers that we're going to show you right here, I just call this the ultimate meal prep because these are all of our greens that we are harvesting for our daily salad. So look at the different varieties here. 
bib lettuce, Adriana lettuce. Yep, that's a bib one. You get to try different varieties that you don't normally see in the grocery store. Everything is just like vine ripened and we've never used one like pesticide or chemical on it. So it's cleanly grown. Nobody else touches it except for us. And then this one steps right outside of our um, kitchen door. This is our herb tower. So we have dill and fennel, Thai basil, uh, rosemary, sage, and Italian basil. Um, and then we also have some collards. I think we have covered everything. And one thing that you should, that is, there's just no doubt, we're excited about what we're doing. We love that we have an opportunity to do it together. We are living our healthiest lives with the just, just the most fantastic people. Yeah, I just, and just in closing guys, it's been fun, it's exciting, it's healthy. Um, and you know, we're making money just by sharing this good news, just like we're doing here. We do this all the time in the grocery store, no matter where we are, share the news and people are very excited to hear it. So thank you. And uh, I'm gonna continue to listen in and enjoy the call. It's a good life. Back to you. I got one question because that is too much food. Y'all must be on an acre of land. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that on just a small patio? Really, I would say it's about the size of maybe a parking spot or maybe a little bit broader than that. We are growing enough food, you know, that our family comes over. Our we friends, have enough for friends. Neighbors, you are exactly right. <laughs> Thanks, Adrian. Thank you. Oh, so we don't need to have an acre of land to do this. Not no. by any stretch of the imagination. You can grow all of this food beyond what you need. You can really just, uh, you can feed all your neighbors and friends. With one tower, you can feed a family. Absolutely.